Manager via entrepreneur. What are the differences? Let's talk about it now. Hi, I'm Oliver, CIBS Executive MBA and Startup Coach at AskMeStartup.com. Let's deep dive into today's topic, manager versus entrepreneur. Many people aspire to become an entrepreneur, but it's very difficult for them to understand what an entrepreneur is because they might have not been there. So let's talk about this today. There was an article where they compared airline pilots and their training towards managers. If you compare airline pilots to managers, what you can see is that airline pilots usually are trained on a small, nimble aircraft, maybe four seats and one engine. And that is due to the fact that uh, airline pilots have to get to know the forces that surround them and what impact they have on the airplane. Managers, on the other hand, usually are from big corporations. And if they pull one lever, nothing much moves around. And then they suddenly feel themselves comfortable starting a small business where it, they are actually confronted with the market environment and every s lever that they maneuver has a huge and direct impact on the customer and the market side. Hence, Managers and entrepreneurs are different. It's like airline pilot and manager from big corporations. But what are the technical differences here? Let's go into more details right now. To start off, we go off with a small definition on entrepreneurship and management. And Howard Stevenson actually came up with this definition saying, entrepreneurial management is characterized by the pursuit of opportunity beyond resources currently controlled. And administrative management is characterized by the optimization of the resources currently controlled. And that actually gives you already quite a good start because an entrepreneur usually thinks of things that are going to happen, that might happen, that should be going like this, whereas a manager usually controls within its environment the uh, resources given to him. Now let's go a little deeper inside here. Let's go to the strategic orientation as a start. So if you are an entrepreneur, you have the vision that there is an opportunity out there that is worthwhile pursuing. Whereas as a manager, you're trying to control the resources to get to the goals given or indicated by you by the organization. What it actually means is that entrepreneurs are always ahead of the game. They anticipate something to happen. And that is also the reason why most of them fail because many times the assumptions based to found a startup are wrong, many times. Sometimes it's also they have not been able to adapt as fast as, uh, as possible. And on the management side, usually what happens is they just exchange people. They have these big businesses, big corporations that hardly ever fail. I mean, if you're like Nestle or Unilever or any of the other big companies providing food, you know, it's hard that you go out of business if you don't do the most stupid things on the planet. The next thing that maybe differentiates the both is the commitment to the opportunity. Where um, if you have like a small startup and an entrepreneur, usually they are very fast and nimble. And so they, what they want to do is jump on an opportunity as soon as it presents it to themselves. Whereas on large corporations and the manager type of behavior actually is a small incremental evolving towards new opportunities. It's always difficult for those large corporations that uh, to let go good working businesses for something better. Whereas there is nothing better currently for the entrepreneur, that's why he is up the game and wants to try the new opportunity ASAP. Let's talk about the commitment to an opportunity. If you're an entrepreneur, you will have multiple opportunities maybe running and none of them has your full uh, attention currently because you are trying to figure out which one works and which one does not. Whereas on big companies, if they come up with an opportunity and their whole organization is behind it, they go in their full force, meaning they put all the resources in there that they have. That's also a difference because as an entrepreneur, you hardly ever have a lot of resources. And if you have, you tend to not waste, want to waste them. Whereas on a big corporation, if you lose a lot of money, yeah, it's bad luck. And maybe a career or two are not progressing as good as they could have been. But nonetheless, the big corporation never or hardly ever has a big problem with this. Another way to differentiate an entrepreneur from a manager is the way they work or handle resources. Most of the time, entrepreneurs rent or just occasionally use resources, and whereas companies or managers usually tend to own those resources just to have an upstream or vertical integration. Now, what it actually also means is that the one side has more issues maneuvering its resources and efforts around, whereas the other side, the entrepreneur side, actually can be much, much faster to, to lead, let off the things that they don't need. That's also the reason why big 
downtrends like now causing specifically let's say manufacturing uh, services a big problem because you know if you have the machinery in house it you can't just let them go they have to be paid off they have factories where they are located in so you see these things are not meant to change fast and nimble another way to differentiate entrepreneurship from management is the management structure on the entrepreneur side usually you will have flat hierarchies with informal indirect networks whereas on the management side you usually have a very formal and strict hierarchy also the reason being for a very let's say non up-to-date process because usually those people in charge on the management level are far away from the execution level whereas on the entrepreneur side you will have to be on the execution level and you have to give those people the power to execute to the best of the knowledge just to get things moving and the last thing that I want to mention here today in order to differentiate an entrepreneur from a manager is the way they compensate each other so on the entrepreneur side usually you will have a value-based and team-based compensation so that you are showing the dedication needed to uh, drive your potential business forward on the other side of the management usually this is a bonus optimized performance and payout system which usually leaves little or no room for personal optimization or better business opportunities down the road so you heard some of the differences between entrepreneur management if you're not happy to be an entrepreneur you might click on the video that is appearing on the screen right now because it will guide you to uh, how to start a business from scratch good luck and thank you for listening